Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing Oxenfree. So as usual, I don't really know a lot about this game. This one has been recommended to me by my Twitch chat for a while, I feel like for years even, and I mentioned to them that I was thinking about playing it for YouTube, and the only thing that they told me is that it's a little bit creepy. So they were like, if you're okay with that, it is kind of creepy, and I'm definitely okay with that. So all that I know is what I see on the cover art, which to me looks sort of like an alien abduction situation. Just a guess, I don't know, but let's find out. Okay, here we are. So as I said, you can see on the little, like the small cover art, there's like a person floating in a triangle. In this larger screen, we can see, what, five people looking at another triangle? <laughs> you know, maybe this is just a game about triangles. Who knows? Maybe it's a game about geometry. We shall find out. I do really like the music. Okay, see, so this looks like, that looks like an abduction to me. Maybe it's just a person floating in a triangle. I don't really know. But I think we're about to find out. Night School. Oh, a Netflix game studio. I told my husband, <laughs> I told my husband I was gonna be starting this game and he was like, oh, what's it called? And I said, Oxenfree. And he said, Ollie Ollie. <laughs> okay, so Ollie Ollie, let's go. Okay, let's check out our options. Data sharing, subtitles. I definitely want subtitles on. Controller audio, no thank you. All right. Let's play. It Night. used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Not another Henry. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Oh, I see. Mission um, control to Alex. Yeah, yeah sorry. Sorry. 8 so you all in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, what no, happened? Wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens and he thought she worked there and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Aw, uh, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? Stepbrother. Step oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, that's no, weird. That's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like the concept of just getting hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. Oops. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. So how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blobs. I've <laughs> tried to forget. It's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny. That's all. Passengers, Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Okay. Who's talking? Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This would be like the before. Shouldn't we wait and, uh, who's the, uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not gonna mind if we're spending the night. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk, right? Patient Zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. 
he pose was good. for picture. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We uh need the girl in the pic. I'm here, aren't I? There we go. There, great. I'll magic all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I just realized the subtitles aren't on. Is that going to turn them on? Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? There we go. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I was like, <laughs> I felt like something was missing, and I was like, what am I missing here? Um, it was it was the subtitles. I'm also going to pause really quick just to check the audio, and then we will continue. So hold on. The little portable one? What radio? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy. The, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. 88.3. It's a Wait, I can't hear it. Probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play along from play, play a song from his band. So I hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters. <laughs> red-headed <laughs> That's Wait, awesome. were we supposed to hear I that? Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Redheaded bedwetters. That's a sick band name. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Okay, what's up with Ren? Is he weird or is he weird? Also, oh, look how cute. Okay, so I'm Alex, that's Ren. And then what's what's my brother-in-law, not my brother-in-law, my uh, stepbrother's name? I don't remember. And what are we doing? We're going to some island at Smell night? Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl, this ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Jonas. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget no, if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just- Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway- We're all gonna- No, it's- it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Yeah, let's talk to our brother. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, We're just man. gonna chat really quick, dude. I'll just be up the hill in case. Whatever. Ren seems nice. Very sign. It's funny, you know? When the flag is flying, we are... funny. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. That was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. 
Oh. Who's Mike? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I... It's kind of kitschy. Who's Mike? Mike? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean... Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Oh, perfect. We're moving a little faster. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Okay, Edwards Island. So it's closed off. Nobody lives here. Nobody comes here. Why are we here? Statue. What is that, a bird? Also, I just want to say, I really love the music. I feel like it... It's setting the, the tone, you know, it's giving us a vibe. I really like the art style as well. Oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Um, maybe we can do the walking tour later, like after three beers. <laughs> okay, that's true. We will be here all night. Okay, so how do I get up there? Oh, there we go. Is Ren in here? Parks, Parks office. And facilities office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> okay, sounds great. So Ren's sister used to work here. Ooh, yeah. antique shop. They close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. But I want to shop. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. Yeah, of course I want to shop. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's not floozies. <laughs> so, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo oh caves. The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. Oh. You'll hear voices or just sound. No way. Come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. I wasn't even there. I couldn't go, remember? Oh. Why, how convenient. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Yeah. Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for, like, 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the Damn. other... That woman oh, I need to keep... Water. I need to stop interrupting 70 him. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. If it's on an island. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. Monkey butlers, lobster wives. It's the, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah. All right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess nothing. No big deal. I just... I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try. Where are we trying to get over? The fence? I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. What does that's that mean? All. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. 
I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Oh, shut up. What else would you be doing? Good point. Okay, so let me just make sure I have this straight here. We're juniors in high school. We're coming to this abandoned island to drink and like party with each other. And it's kind of like a military base. Is that right? It seems like it's an old military base. Or were they saying that people on a military base would sneak over to this island? I don't really remember. It's one or the other. But we're kids. We're coming here to drink and party. There's one old lady who lives here, Mrs. Adler. And she's lived here forever. And that's all that we know, I think. I hope I'm following that correctly. I'm going to try to stop interrupting Ren, but it is hard whenever I see the dialogue pop up because I don't want to miss it. But okay, I think, I think I'm clear. Go to Cliffs. Let's go. Yeet. Discovery Cliffs Main Street. Okay, it's 9 p.m. now. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Ren, relax. Oh, and, okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex? It's not dumpster there? buddies. Did you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I... Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, God, not Brad's we car. We down the way, but Nona wanted to play Beach Nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh, My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? <laughs> Nicole had that tennis <laughs> What is thing. her deal? And, uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, yeah. what about me? What about you? Um, what the hell is her problem? That's my question. Hey, Clarissa, what the hell is your problem? Clarissa, can you explain that all? Okay, let's go to the beach. Can I leave her ass behind? What's her problem? Okay, rude. Oh, cute. A little beach bonfire. Fire, man's great equalizer. So what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah. I think it's just whatever. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yeah, <laughs> killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Wait, Both she died? News, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hmm, oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. Great. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo before you slap someone. Let's get a you beer. You can ask a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, 
getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first, we're gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? <gasps> Clarissa! Uh -oh. Wait, 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 I wanna hear his answer. Clarissa, come on, you're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. All right. Great, let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> oh boy. Lay it uh -oh. on me, baby. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny. I don't know. Okay, I'd and marry Nona. Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'd screw okay, Ren 100%. <laughs> I'd do Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be like less weird. And you're in a band. Yeah. I mean, and what more could you I want? Knew those bass lessons would come in handy, which of course means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. A hundred percent. What yeah. a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. Oh, <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. Um, What's your favorite stuffed animal? Let's ask Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, I'm about to grill her this ass. Pretty fun just Opinion of me? Well, wait. Worst fear. Worst fear. That Santa Claus is really coming to town. Seriously? Dying with too many regrets, probably? I don't know. That seems reasonable. Really? Dying with too many regrets is your worst fear? Not being trapped in a locker with scorpions or something? No, because I'm not five. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Uh, like a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I okay, don't... just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. What? Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. <gasps> just that Alex's My mom brother is died. This now. isn't fair. Or they but had how issues. Can you know why? Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa. You... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Yeah. Wait, let's, let's not stop like this. We should, like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... And get... that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Oh, my God, you are annoying. <laughs> this isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie... Have okay, I'm leaving. Anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish? You be sure to just let me know. Yeah, I'm gonna be Super. leaving. Super. Sure thing. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Get me the hell away from her. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. <laughs> Nona, want to come? <laughs> uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, Wait. you're a strapping young lad. Let's go to let's okay, go to Miss Adler's on. house. Where are you from again? Or wait, they're it's going a to the small caves? Town near North Valley. Oh yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. If I go to Miss Adler's house, am I gonna be by myself? Alex, you wanna check out the caves or Oh yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Is there any way for me to go faster? Oops, that was the... <laughs> Come on, oh, I'll push you over. Oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Whenever you're ready. Oh, what, their date? 
Yeah, he, uh... Unless he I get a crink in my back, home. which <laughs> How do you might get happen if you don't go soon. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm trying. So I'm going as fast as just, I can. It was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks, and they, like, she wanted something, like, a named thing? Oh, God. Yeah, like, like a, some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't know what she was talking about. And John, of course, is all nervous. And they basically got kicked out, so they didn't even get to see any of, like, the stuff. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Of course that's how it went. Okay, so we're gonna go to the caves and Clarissa and Nona, when what? Was the last time you so, were here? the Just caves, gonna stay? what's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Uh, weird enough. Mm, probably a five. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> all right. Hey, Clarissa seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous <laughs> life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, what do you like about her anyway? I, uh, I don't know. I just think she's hot. Q. Okay. Well, and I don't know. I, she's cool. That's all. I, I just like her whole vibe. Okay. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, <laughs> I am. Me, me, me. Oh wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Magic. Back. Magic. Oh, I know mean? what that means. It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Okay, let's go in this cave. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? Uh-huh. The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. Oh. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Okay, let's see. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Oh, it's vibrating. So just pull out your radio. I've got it. Any day. While we're young, please. I have it out. Oh. Holy crap. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Okay. This is what? so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's, like, weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Oh, she dated my brother. I dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, and she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that makes sense? That fast? No, no, honey, no. Are you okay? <laughs> I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. What in the name of God did he put in those brownies? Oh. Wait. It's somewhere in here. Maybe further up, there's another one. Oh, here we go. Oh. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... It sounds... Like, painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? What's that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like, 
a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that. Let's go. Me. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. Come on, I'm trying to hop up there. <laughs> Wait, Wait for me. Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so that makes more sense. Clarissa used to date my brother. There's Nona. Okay, she's so cute. Wait, everybody's so cute. Okay, but I'm sorry. Clarissa needs to get over it. Like, not over, like, the death of her ex-boyfriend. I mean, that's obviously a very intense thing, but she has no reason to be so ugly towards me all the time. You know? Ten PM. Okay, we've gone another hour. Oh, it's pretty in here. Wait. Jonas? Jonas. Jonas. Where did he go? Oh, cool. Hello, brother. Wow, I love the lighting in here. Hello? What do I do? Climb down this? I do kind of hear water, but I don't know if it's just like drip dripping from inside of a cave. But I mean, this can't be good, right? Like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way this is going anywhere positive. Oh. Debris. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? An ashtray and a pen? Ooh, look, you can see the reflection in the water. So there is water. Like an under a cave lake. Graffiti. See a man about a dog. Sure, we'll do. Are you okay? No. Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought. I thought I heard somebody down here, but, you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this, how this happens. No, it's, uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Um... I don't know where it's coming. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. Uh, there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It <gasps> must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, look, if it's <gasps> cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Oh, that is gorgeous. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold. Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating um, Oh, look up there at the top. Light thing? No, where? It's like in the the air right there. It, it must be like a like a rainbow or like a reflection. Saw light. the man but not the Those dog. Exist, right? Armoire. Okay. Um, Apart from the um the triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like how did he even get in? And I mean, aside from some like water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. I saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? <laughs> A guy who can't see dogs? Saw the man, not the dog. Try your radio. 
Maybe that's like a <gasps> oh, frequency true. Or like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. I mean, I say good idea, but I don't think it's a good idea. Let's do it. Come on. Oh my god. Is this? Are you? Is this you? Are you? What's doing happening? This? Oh God. Wait, it was somewhere around here. 93. Oh, I can't even like, what is, what's? I know, I, I know. What? I think I need to make it go out further. <gasps> oh God, another triangle. Oh. What the hell? What the? Uh, hello. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. This is insane. Uh, who are are you? Who are you on the? Listen, Bob two, Shane two, sleep me time I'm down. Is please possible? I, I, I don't what? know what you mean. So I can't. Bob two, leave children. Bye. Others will see you soon. Alex. Jonas! Whoa, 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 whoa! <gasps> Are we underwater? Um. Okay, what? Oh, this is definitely some alien shit. This has to be some alien shit. I did not like that with all the different voices saying all the weird, all the weird things. Alex, Alex. What's going on? Oh, whoa, where are we now? 11 p.m. Alex, are you okay? I mean, you all right? I think so. I don't know. God, do I? Look all right? You look alive, I guess. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened Wait, back there. Wait, what's this? But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. Uh, yeah. Don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. This all seems a little much, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower. They're not keeping dinosaurs in here. Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here. Okay, so true. So don't touch. Let's just use the tower and try and phone somebody. No, I'm way ahead of you. There's got to be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not. I would not do that to you. Me, I wouldn't do that to you. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. Major Richard Harden. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> Oh, that's good. It, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. That is really good. <laughs> oh, God. This is not good. This is not good. And there's no way we're going to get out of here without the ferry. I mean, unless a helicopter comes to get us, but I highly doubt that's gonna work. And also, wouldn't we get in trouble if they found out that we were here? Isn't it like 
nobody's even supposed to be. How do you even take a ferry here if nobody's supposed to be here? Hold on, that's a good question. If this place is totally closed down, if this place is totally closed down and nobody's supposed to be here, how did we take a ferry here? And Ren was even being kind of weird whenever we were asking who was driving the boat. Is Ren in on all of this? Oh, what even is all of this? I don't, I, I don't know. But it doesn't seem good, I can tell you that much. View. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Uh... They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. <laughs> Great. Try door. It's locked. Let me try. It's locked, Jonas. I'm not playing here. No, I know. Just give me a second. Oh, wait, we got a professional lock picker on our hands. Of a misspent youth. That's, That's not an expression. <laughs> What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. All right. You take care of that. I'm going to walk over here. Is this an open window? See? <gasps> I have to say, I'm impressed. How'd you do that? It's just pressure and a library card for most older locks. Oh, huh. hell yeah. Cool. Okay, perfect. Oh. Radio. How does this thing? Machinery. Generator. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. There's a well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. <laughs> Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Uh, no. Nope. Okay, let's be done with the phone. Ah, oh Jesus. my god. Hello? Hello? Alex? Oh. Alan? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin, Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON. Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have like passed out or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. What? Maybe it's like a night watchman okay, or something. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm going to see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? What? And Jonas. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, 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 then... I, I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap Oh, out of me. shit. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just want to get out of here. Nobody wants to stay, Clarissa, but... You know that the radio works? Yeah, how the hell do you think I called you guys? I just can't... There's like a way or something to connect outside, but I'm not good with this stuff. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... Oh, no. And it dies. Wait. Ren, are you still there? Oh, no. We lost him. What about Nona? Where's yeah, Nona? I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but... Gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. Let's check. Let's check this. Uh, SOS? Mayday, mayday, um, CQD? 
CQD. Come quick, danger. <gasps> it's um dead. Did you get anyone? Uh I think someone was there, but aliens or something. Look, I'm going to leave it up to you. We can swing through the Morning forest in that ramp or we can Unsafe. go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. You know. Oh my god. I normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. You don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on. <laughs> Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um I don't know. I know Ren's scared, but Clarissa's walkie-talkie might be more important. You pick where you want to go. Oh my god. Wait, not a choice. I hate this. Ren in the woods or Clarissa in Milner. Okay, okay, okay. It's hard for me to not overthink this because when I'm overthinking, I'm thinking, all right, I probably should go to Clarissa. But of course, everything in me says I don't want to go help Clarissa because she's an asshole, right? And then Ren's the one who brought us here and he just like ate a like pot brownie and then fell asleep, but apparently Clarissa also kind of fell asleep and then woke up somewhere. And if she has a walkie-talkie, but then how did Ren call us? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know what to do. I... Oh. Clarissa has a walkie-talkie, so Ren can just sweat We'll go to Clarissa. Her. Sound logic. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh, cool, we have a map. Okay. So that's where we came in, Main Street. Discovery Cliffs, there's the beach, the Alder Estate, which we didn't go to, but I wanted to. Hopefully we get to go there. So then how did we get to the... Where are the caves? They're at the beach, I guess. Yeah, it was like under there. So, Epiphany Field, Toey Woods. Wait, but Ren is, like, right next to us. Or wait, no, he's up there. At Edwards Woods. Campgrounds, Bridge Stand, Help Clarissa. Okay, yeah, how do I... All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. To get this done and get off this rock like... the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous. Okay, we'll try, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Oh, Lord. This is bad. I don't know which one I should have chosen. Now I'm stressed out. I don't want anybody to get, like, hurt or die or something. But what happened to them? Did we summon something? Jonas, what are you doing, bud? Come on. Come on, my brother. Okay, he's coming. Maybe we have to go back down through the electric fence, which I turned off, right? Let's see. Oh, I love the art style of this so much. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Harden Tower, Epiphany Field. We want to go to Epiphany Field, right? Can I look at a map somehow? Oh, there we go. Help Clarissa. Epiphany Field, that goes down. How am I supposed to get up to where I want to be? Um, I guess our only option really is to go through here. Okay, there's the tower in the background. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Just checking, you know? Okay. How are you? Uh, could be better, but we'll get through this and on to bigger and better? Sure. Good talk. <laughs> Good talk, yeah. That's, uh, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Milner Outpost. Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear? We are going to... Yeah, Fort Milner. Okay, I'm just sorry. I'm just making sure. Anybody? Clarissa. 
Tamman, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something. Okay. Well, she's around here somewhere. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Okay, that door is locked. Jonas, can you pick that or no? Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out oh, by snipers sorry, about dogs. 50 paces back. Maybe, but listen, like, what if... Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um... Secret project? Like what? They finally harnessed the power of... Mind control. Yeah, mind control. And they've, um, made a mind control machine, and, um... And we've all been suffering, like, a collective mirage. Uh... Um... That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Yeah, let's get out our radio. Is anything gonna happen? Oh, I, uh, I found something. You should hear this, two seconds. Wait, what? I'm lost. I don't want to be found. Let me be lost. I don't want to be found. Okay, so, I mean, that's kind of conclusive, right? She didn't think it would actually happen. No, you didn't. And I knew you didn't, and I... So we're giving up. No, we're, you know, honoring wishes. Is that what we tell the cops? What we tell her? Just tell me you don't know what to do so that we can both look it right in the eyes. What? I don't know what to do. Because you didn't think it was going to work either. No, but it did. It did. I'm really scared. Me too. You want to take a second? And do what? Be scared? Together? Okay. I'm at the observatory. I, uh, I found something. You should hear this. Two seconds. Okay, that's where it started. Oh god, what's this? What's this? Oh dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Um <gasps> Oh my god, that door just opened. Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kinda do have to find Clarissa, so. Let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio man. Wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been, like, a really bad thing in my experience. Oh, really? Even automatic doors like in supermarkets? Well, I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. And I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we gotta go anyway. Sorry. Yeah, let's, let's go into the, let's go into the mystery door that opened. What was, what was that on the radio? Okay, let's go to facilities, whatever, whatever that means. I, I do not know what's going on. I really do not know. Who was that talking on the radio? Saying they didn't think something was going to happen, but that it did or something. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Oh, brother. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. <gasps> oh, really? Yes, really. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm what just, sort of thing? What do you mean? You know, like, intense, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. 
I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start. It's not a trick question, Jonas. She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew boobs. Ah, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of, I don't know, kind of morbid. Yeah, it's, it's just strange to see it like this. Oh, God. Stuff like this, I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, In right now it just looks like scary town, much so. Mecca. I can tell. Skater Mecca. Oh, yeah, the skaters would love this place. Oh, padlocked door. Okay, hold on. Let's go upstairs. After you, Jonas. Pick up the pace, buddy. Hey, that's Clarissa! What the hell? Clarissa, hold on. Jonas, what happened? Are you alright? Was that Clarissa? Jonas, let Wait, oops. Oh, sorry, my leg, my Man. leg. Not in the mood. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I don't know if that was Clarissa. <gasps> oh no. Oh hell no. Let me get out my radio. What's going on in here? Talk to me, someone. Talk to me. No? Oh, I ask that Congress declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, A state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. I ask that the Congress declare... Okay, ooh, you can... Whoa, 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 whoa. Kings and queens commit suicide too. She didn't... I know, just making a point. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. You're not nothing to me. What was that? You kind of... I think you broke up there. Nothing. Why wouldn't she want to be found? You know why? Yeah. But, like, are we nothing to her? I don't... Maybe. I don't know. I mean, okay. Her life sucked, but, like, everything sucks. But not capital E everything. Right? We had... I thought we were... I don't know what I thought. Not... Not nothing. You can have everything and still feel like you have nothing. Kings and queens commit suicide too. She didn't... I know, just making a point. Yeah. Oh, shart. What was that? Okay, I don't know who is talking. I don't know who they're talking about. Testing, testing. Um, okay. Oh my god, I Jonas. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room. So, like, riddle me that, first of all. And then, second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this- Oh. What the hell? Hello? Are you- Look, is someone there? Let Jonas talk to his mom. Do what you feel Let is- Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. What? His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is- Ow. I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there, but let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. Okay, you know, there's a sign a with a 
Radio. It's really enticing me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know? But I'd be a horrible talk radio guy. Oh, I got it! What just happened? Because that, that sucked. Are you okay? A little shaken up? Well, we... Oh, here's a padlock code. 3418. 3418. Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Make it snappy. Get it? I'm choosing not to get it. Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. So Jonas's mom is dead. My brother is dead. My reflection just talked to myself. Okay. Clear as mud. Three, what was it? Three, four, eighteen. Four, oh. Eighteen. And voila. What was that? I don't know. Okay, just making sure. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so. Let's just carry on. 93 seems to be something. Ooh. Oh, hell no. Oh, <laughs> okay. Absolutely freaking not. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say a big fat no on that one. Are you effing kidding me? What the hell is that? Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now. So since we're stuck anyway. Oh my God, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. Just go, dude. Just I'll force it out fast. This, this is great. Is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it right here. He volunteered for submarine brother. service. On a rat. Don't look at me. I know the uh, acoustics are <gasps> really carrying. Oh my God, Clarissa! Sorry. Hey, what was that? Oh that my sounded God! Like a door. Clarissa, come back. We came to help you. Don't. Ugh. Hello? Is this <gasps> thing? Is this? God, is this? Is this going out or? Wait, I can. Oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not. Man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. Handprints, Handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh shit! What was that? Oh God! You... You heard that, right? Uh. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids, want to play a game? Uh. What is it doing? What? Dang, man. Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh, this this isn't how you play hangman. Here's a simple one to start. So don't hold your breath. <laughs> what is the name of the school you are standing in? Ten. We're standing in. Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. school for armed so uh, services. School for armed services. Uh oh. Our friends are finding this tough. Oh. Oh God. You think us cruel? Do you think us callous? I don't care. Just don't. We hurt. don't hurt playmates. Oh Jesus. 
What is oh. going on? What? Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Cookies. Oh, yeah. I know that. This isn't World War you call codes. Cookies. Cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right. We are an island race. <gasps> and through all our times, the sea has ruled our race. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing uh. okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Benzo's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Oh, shark. Ten. Nine. 53. 53? Oh. You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Uh-oh. 97 brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. 85 officers, 12 passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Oh, God. Just another fact among many. Here I am. I didn't need to get that far. Jonas? You miss Vince? There's a ball at my head. He was all obsessed. Orderly. Here I am. I didn't need to get that far. And just as guilty as a soldier would be who deserted his post under fire. Now, in making an example of you. I orderly, orderly. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh God, not the triangle. Not the triangle. Oh, there we go. Oh! <gasps> what is going on? <laughs> oh. The United States, States submarine oh. Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the, the periscope, commander... The commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today. Lost at sea, near... Is this... Are you the dead officers? That sunk on the Canaloa? We are sunk. What? What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. <gasps> the handprints. Time. What? I. That was not fun just take it slow and easy you've just had an experience yes yes very good this has been united news and thank you for listening this is just unbelievable anyone can anyone just that's got to be clarissa let's get her and get okay out of here. or use her radio and get out of here but let's just get out of here Yeah. Let's. Can we not get through this door? Let's try to go back up. Maybe go back the way we came, I guess? I don't really know. 
This feels like it's important. He volunteered for submarine service. Who? Tony the tiger? What's the deal with the giant tiger? Like, okay. Oh, wait, there's another ladder over there. Wonder if we can walk in front of this building. Let's check. No. Okay. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly where I need to go, but we'll try going back to the left. Back through the room where Jonas peed. Okay, maybe not. Do I need my... Should I check my radio? There are other tapes here, actually. Like, a lot. You shouldn't... Come on, those are probably private. Then she should have put them somewhere private. These were buried under the Cheddar Twisties. It's such a mess in there. Pressing play. Bypassing the circuit breaker. Most likely it'll make smoking sourdough out of the whole receiver, but you can't make an omelet without a side of toast. Anyway, I'm hoping the increased voltage will make something happen because... Fart, fart, fart. <laughs> I am Lord Fartus, master of flatulence of house one cheek squeak. My wind is word. <laughs> because it's always rainy, but supposed to be clear on Wednesday. So Wednesday, so Wednesday it shall be. Results to come. Signing off. I always forget where the off button is on this. F I forgot. I did that. I am a comedy god. I mean, no. But also, dummy. That's what we need to do. Wait, what is? Do you know how to bypass a circuit breaker? Yeah, duh. Okay. I'm heading back to my receiver, and then Lord Fartis, you're going to guide me. Lord Fartis, guide me. What? Are we picking up on, like, are these channels that are mixing? Are they overlapping? Like, you know how that can happen with the radio? You may not know if you're young. Look, if you've never actually listened to the radio, all right, there's the thing called radio, and sometimes the channels can be, like, kind of overlapping. Is that what's happening here? Because this does not seem like a straightforward, like, stream of consciousness. Okay, also, I do not know where to go, so I'm, um, I'm sorry. Let me, let me try to figure out where we need to go here. Can we go through? Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. Clarissa's <laughs> is asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Huh? What? Cross your fingers. For what? <gasps> oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call. Doc. Um, are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but... You just sounded really distressed, that's all. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know, I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. Really? No, 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 isn't there a really officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Oh, God. Uh, um, some things... I, I don't, I don't... Clarissa! <gasps> is there anything like... Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Marissa. What? Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to 
I mean, she got it to kind of work, so we should be home free. Yeah, it, it only broadcasts within the, within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Wait, how do I get it to work? Oh my god, what is she doing? <gasps> what is she doing? <gasps> oh my god, why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not, it's not like we're... Uh, I can't believe this. I, I, I can't believe she would do that over... I mean, things are, are bad right now, but you, you can't just... Uh, I, I just... Uh, this is... Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't... I don't even know what to... We... We should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them. Or... Or how to tell them. I'm... I, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we... She knows me. This can't... Oh, God. And just the fact that I'm the one who... Who is here. And... Oh, God. We'll... What? We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. What the hell? What, was she just possessed or something? Oh God, not this shit again. The light is red. Oh, buddy. Orderly. Oh, I don't know if it's going to do anything or not. Wait, what? Why does it keep saying orderly? Maybe we're not supposed to do anything with it. I don't know. Wow. Um, <gasps> there's no way she got up from that, right? Wait. Like, there's no way. Wait, she, she's... Uh, I can't think of the appropriate word here. Dead? The word is dead. She should be dead, Alex. I watched her. There was no... What is going on? <laughs> What is going on? Well, I guess it's Ren time. Let's hope it's less eventful. Wait, what? So we're just going to forget about... We're just going to forget about Clarissa? Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, God. Also, how come nobody... Is nobody concerned about Nona? Like, we're not even... We're not even going to worry about Nona at all because nobody has even mentioned Nona. I mean, I know that we haven't heard anything from her, but clearly something must have happened with her as well, right? I think we're pretty close to Ren, so we can try to go save Ren really quick. Um, we'll see how quickly that can happen. Epiphany Field. Wait, let me look at my map again. Edward Woods. Okay, we need to go back to the field, and then I think that that should lead us. That should lead us there. What's up with Clarissa? Where'd she go? There's no way that she survived that. We want to go to Edward's Woods Relay Point. Let's see if this sign, if there's a sign down this way. Man, I really love this music. What's this? Okay, creepy. Ooh, here's a bridge. Wait, didn't I need to go over the bridge to get to where Ren is? <gasps> Another statue.
Oh, this is a cool shot. Oh my gosh, I just feel like the music and like the ambience of everything, it just, it truly like gives you, it just fits the vibe so well. It all fits together so well. Wait, am I supposed to have my radio out at this? I wonder. First we will eat and drink, and then we will go and see the girls, yes? Yes. She doesn't know. First we will eat and drink, and then we will go and see the girls, yes? Yes. Okay, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. If you're talking about me, if I am the she that doesn't know, you are correct. I do not know. I do not know anything. Okay, so that's just where we came from back there, right? Milner Outpost. So maybe we need to go back this way. There's the tower, let's just go. I don't think we need to go back to the comm tower. Oh, Toey Woods. Yeah, that'll at least head us in the correct direction. Okay, wow, my bad. I could have just, <laughs> I could have just gone left the whole time. Sorry, you know, it is, I, as you have seen, I do not have the easiest time navigating, okay? My directional skills are pretty much non-existent. So, unfortunately, you're just going to have to get used to that with me. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy and that I'm outdoors. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. Uh, um, vaguely. Yeah. You know, I'm this trying. place really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. Oh, yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. <laughs> My dad was really pea happy pork to move park. Here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess you never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Ooh, I like it down here. I love the, the nature sounds. Also, I don't know if I was supposed to climb down that cliff or if I was just supposed to make the jump across there or not, but I think it might take us both the same way. Ooh, what a cool tree. Look at that tree all bent over. Roosting tree. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Yeah, no, you're right. Who cares? History, am I right? I'm not making fun. It's just... It's a tree. Yeah, I like trees. There was plenty of time for thinking. Thinking about a lot of things you remembered. Sometimes about what was ahead. That was a special time of thinking. But when you looked around, you saw you weren't the only one doing it. Somehow that made you feel a lot closer. There was plenty of time for thinking. What in the world? When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encountered on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he'd led a petition to make the land federally protected. 
and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, <gasps> home to 120 bird species. Oh my God, most notably the white-tailed towhee, <gasps> a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. Oh my God, the roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655. When Franciscan friars notice that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north, when he was stationed at Fort Milner, oh, it's just starting over. Okay, so 102.3, is that the channel that gives me the information? I want to go back and see if I can get more information about that statue of the person with the telescope. Also, Adler? Did it say an Adler tree or Alder? I think I keep calling Miss Adler's residence the Alder residence, but I believe that it's Adler, right? Like Sadie Adler from Red Dead? Bridge Stand, Toey Woods. Okay, I guess we'll go go to Bridge Stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're, we're on the way. We're on the way. Wow, I love a Toey. We have, where I live, we have Eastern Toeys, and they are so, 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 so cute. They're like brown and white and black, and they're always on the ground. I mean, they fly, obviously, but you always see them on the ground getting seed. Um, they're so cute. They're just so cute. Okay, enough bird talk. Bridge stand. I guess that's where we're headed. Whoa. Um... Why is there a cable car here? Oh, God. Couldn't they just made, like, just like a normal... It's not a cable car. It's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? Yeah, it's like an army thing, or... I know there's rules about what you can build on protected land, so maybe this is all it's zoned for or something. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Look, it's a little scary, but I need power transfer station 167. Okay. Oh, we're okay, in. That's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it. Breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Or not, I guess. Um, so I don't know. Jonas, the bridge ferry looks pretty well and dead, so I don't know how we do this without power. Just oh boy. let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know, don't... Don't give me that look. Just let me do it, dude. Just let me do it. Oh. What did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... It's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The Can we exit? It's... Oh, yeah. I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay. We'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. Don't worry, I just have to communicate with my, with the sunken, the sunken soldiers. Let me just, let me just communicate with the dead real quick, Jonas. Hold on. I'll get us out of here. Oh, there we go. That's, that's, God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... <gasps> I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Oh, something his mom used to listen to. Oh, there's a oh, there's a graveyard down there. Okay, we have to go look. We have to go look at the graveyard. Okay, let's go back down before we try to go all the way across. Because I uh, want to see what's up with that. What the that hell? There before. Why am I sitting? Alex, are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Not uh, funny. Sorry, opposite, dude. Total opposite of funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to. But really, why is that chair there? Uh, okay. All right. It's all fun and games, but seriously, what's the chair about? All right. Can I hop across here? Oh, yeah. Ooh. <gasps> wait. Oh, wait, the pile of rocks means that there is a weird radio station. Let me look. Let's re read what this says first. Oh, check out the smallest cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. 
Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved, since island's depressing enough. It would have been better had it never been found. For all those who possessed it came to sudden and violent death. It would have been better had it never been found. For all those who possessed it came to a sudden and violent death. What is that about? Oh boy. 99.9 .9 anomaly. If indeed he finds fault with anything or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Lest perchance God had sent him for this very thing. Huh? He finds fault with the... Sorry, I'm reading everything twice. The abbot shall discuss it prudently, lest perchance God had sent him for this very thing. What? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, nothing else. Are we not going to talk about that with Jonas? No, okay. All right, so are we supposed to be going across here? What a night, huh? <sighs> yeah, tonight's not exactly what I expected. Um, what does that mean? What do you mean, what does it mean? I'm just saying, this this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that the stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Yeah. We'll be all right. Okay, so what do I want to use the... Yeah, I want to go across to the campgrounds. That way I can get up to where Ren is. Right? Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Not a barracuda. Well, this one is. Praise oh. the Lord. Oh yeah, this should this should be totally fine, right? Oh jeez. Oh jeezy Louisey. Perfect. No 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 oh, no. Come on, this isn't working again. It's all right. We don't want to go back anyway. Well, eventually we will. Ren obviously found another way there. When we hook up with him, we'll just take that way back. So true. Ooh, a tent. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh we no. used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the islands. I mean, hey. I mean that's what Ren made us up. Uh, do you ever get deja vu? I feel like like didn't we just walk through here? Huh. What's funny? I, I don't think we have. I only mention it cuz my family trips were awful. My mom would always insist on going to Missouri every single year. Ugh. I mean, it was all we could afford, but still. I guarantee it was better than this. So Wait, there's a fire. Uh, come on. Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I am um, honestly don't remember. All I'm saying is, before tonight, this was a pretty cool place. And you did stuff here, and it's a part of you, you know? It's a part of you. And I just wouldn't want our first night out to, you know, wreck all of that. For like, forever. I just wouldn't want that. Jonas, you are completely insane, my god. You know that? Nuts, kid. Yeah, nuts. All right, all right. I'm right. Wait. We used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean what? that's what made us. Something is... Something's wrong. We've already done this, like, twice. Done what? Because I don't remember any of this. Jonas, seriously? You don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot. Again and again. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but like, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? Keep repeating this one moment for some <sighs> reason. God, can't things Is that a soccer ball? For like 
two friggin' seconds? Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay. This is, uh, new. Aw, oh, it's, it's kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Uh, <laughs> shut up. Should I, can I do something else with the ball? Kick ball. Take that, ball. Yeah, ball. Um, what? Who's there? So it's just... I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. <gasps> oh! Oh, uh-uh, hell no. All right, who are you? All right, who are you? <gasps> Maybe don't and okay. Oh my god. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh, what's that? Don't wanna play anymore? <laughs> oh my god. Alex, can you believe this? Oh my god, look at that on the brick. Oh, God, I don't like it. I don't like it. Where'd the ball go? Oh, no. Oh, I do not like that. I really, really, really do not like that. Oh, not again. <gasps> Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? Oh, no. Uh-oh. What? Oh, wait. What what's happening? <gasps> My reflection isn't moving. He should break up with I Clarissa. Michael to break up with Clarissa. It's for the best. But Michael's dead. How could I even Wait, wait. We've done this before. Ah, oh, really? Again? It's all right. We must have just missed, um, something. I, um, it was weird. You were gone for a minute. I did this, I did the repeat thing again, and my reflection talked to me. Talked to you? What, uh, what did it say? Or was it, like, anything you could even... It said that I should tell Michael to break up with Clarissa. Which is, of course, totally useless advice for a doppelganger, since Michael's still totally dead. You know, at some point, this is all gonna make sense. Oh, is it? I just hope it happens before What's we this? leave. What's this? Oh, a tape player. Okay, I want to try to figure this out last time. Or this time. Last time I couldn't get it. Huh. This is... It's just like the armoire in the cave. Super duper old, but in, like, new condition. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. <laughs> You know, I didn't realize Wait, it felt did I like mess a it up? pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. Or whatever. Yeah, but making it sound right did what? I I don't know, but it's like my allergies cleared up or something. Let's just keep going and get Ren. <gasps> oh my god, we broke the loop. We broke the loop. But there's still the creepy creepy dirt shadow on the brick. Oh, buddy. This is really insane, Jonas. Like, the craziest thing that's happening to anyone right now is happening to us. Retweet. <sighs> True, but... But... Nah, I couldn't think of anything to say. Okay, there's gonna be a frequency what do here. Want? The, uh... Do they have to want anything? Just most of the time, don't they like... I mean, isn't that why they're trapped here or whatever? Because they didn't do something they needed to in life, or...? I don't think our previous knowledge of movies and comic books applies here, really. But fine. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while, and that's it. 
91 point yesterday the remains of four bodies were discovered in two cars submerged west of cape mears how the cars got in the water no one yesterday the remains of four bodies were discovered in two cars submerged west of cape mears how the cars got in the water no one knows i guess <laughs> Can I get a clearer signal? No. Okay. Cape Mears, is that? No, that's nowhere here. Oh my gosh. What's this up here, I wonder? Anything? Just some rocks? Maybe I can get a signal up here? Okay, I don't seem to be getting anything up here. I don't really know what that rock is for. This music playing from the from the tape recorder or whatever is very creepy. Okay. Have we been down this way? Is that Nona? <gasps> oh my god! It is don't, Nona. Don't, okay, just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. Nona. Just don't. What is it? What's wrong? This night has turned banana bread really fast, and I'm seeing things and forgetting things, and I bumped into you once already, and it was horrible. What are you talking about? Back at the beach? I'm talking about the Alex I saw at the pier after the cave looked like a freaking 4th of July. Don't come near me. Come on, Alex. Just back away. Okay. No, not it's me, Alex. Remember? You're looking for Clarissa? Yeah. Have you seen her? We're here because we think Ren is somewhere in the woods. Have you seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, just I do... Just hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just... Can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and... Nona! Clarissa jumped out of a friggin' window at Fort Milner, all right? What? Uh, sh We don't... Look, we don't think she's dead. She was able to walk away, and we... Um, lost her again. Yeah, she's probably fine, apart from the neck glass. Uh. So, she's not dead, but you don't know where she is. No. Nona, I... No, no! Maybe you'll have better luck. No, I don't want to send her after and her. is... Where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yes, yes. Yeah, Nona, it's me, Alex. All right, bye. Uh, okay, bye. That girl's a peach. And I could have done without the whole your best friend just jumped out of a window part of the conversation. It's yeah. Not like she really needed to know that little tidbit. It's the truth, Jonas. If my best friend was running around and talking gibberish and hanging herself, I'd want to know too. I just hope she goes to the tower, that's all. For her sake. And for your conscience. Oh, eat me, okay? How about that for your conscience? <laughs> that is, that doesn't even make sense and I'm shocked and appalled. Okay, so there's like duplicates of people. So maybe that's what happened with Clarissa because like we saw her running around and she jumped out the window, but then she wasn't laying there dead anymore. So maybe there are duplicates of us around. Let's see if we can find this anomaly. Oh, here we go. 97, oh, 97.9. Bay Chimo, Thresher, Peterhoff, Arizona. 
What? Uh, okay. Bench. Oh. <laughs> I remember this. The two Jacks carved their, uh, Jack Mitchell and Jack Ladd, they used to hang out together all the time. And they carved their names into this bench on a school trip once. You don't care, do you? No, please keep going. Uh, <laughs> forget it. Okay, dude, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back down here where we saw Nona and then try to go to the right. And hopefully it will change screens and it will save because I don't know that I can manually save, but I'm coming up on like a little bit over two hours of recording. And so I feel like that's probably enough. <laughs> I think that's probably enough for one video. And I know that we're like right on the verge of finding Ren, but that'll give us something exciting to look forward to next time. So let's see if it'll save right here. Relay point, is that where I'm headed? Yes. Okay. Perfection. Go to relay point. Oh, good. Good. Okay. It'll save right here. Oh, let's look at the picture. Me with the soccer ball and a, and a demon and a demon in the background. Yeah, that's cute. That's a, uh, that's a really good picture. Yeah. Love it. Also the way it kept telling me to fetch. Um, I did not love, <laughs> I did not love the way that it kept telling me to go fetch for the ball. I'll say that much. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm going to stop here. I don't know at all what is going on. I don't know if these are dead people trying to communicate with us like ghosts. I don't know if it's aliens. I don't know if it's demons. There seem to be duplicates of us and our friends around. Maybe it was even the duplicates who were calling us on the radios, trying to tell us to come find them. Like maybe whenever we find Ren, it isn't even Ren. Maybe that wasn't even Nona, but it definitely seemed like her. And she seemed pretty freaked out because she apparently saw other versions of us. Um, and, you know, like Alex keeps being able to talk to her own reflection. So maybe that's the other version of her. But it's talking about like, saying things that have to do with real life, like her reflection telling Jonas not to talk to his mom was weird. And then telling Michael to break up with Clarissa was weird. It's like a duplicate of themselves, but maybe like a past version or something. I truly have no idea, but next time we will go find Ren. That'll be the first thing that we do. I think that we're pretty close to that. And I don't know, maybe run into Nona again, hopefully find Clarissa because I hope that she's not dead. It seems like she's not, but like she should be. But again, maybe that was just like a different version of her. So yeah, I can't wait to play more and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.